This project demonstrates how to bulk out some arm armour to make it more impressive. This is the arm guard from a set of Riot Police Armour. You can buy these on the internet. So what I want to do with this is to bulk it up. So rather than having a very plain arm guard like this, I'm going to add additional padding to give it more size. So the first step I want to do is detach these straps from the outer part of the guard. So to do that, I'm going to drill through the rivets here and separate the fabric from the plastic. I'm going to use these trouser knee pads, which you can buy from hardware and DIY shops to bulk up the armor. One I'm going to place over the main part of the arm guard, and the second one I'm going to use to extend the arm guard over a glove. By drilling out the rivets on one side of the arm guard, I can untouch the whole strap so it frees up the whole area to attach the knee pads. The first knee pad goes on top of the main piece of the armour. Because I drilled out the rivets on one side of the armour, I can pull the strap off and rather than it going directly onto the arm guard, it can go over the top of the pad and attach holding it in place. To make this even neater, what I'm going to do is cut a small channel through the foam so this will sit even neater, so it will sit slightly lower down in the foam by taking out a channel about half a centimetre deep. I've cut two channels in the knee pads about half a centimetre deep and the same width as the straps. So the straps will sit in them and hold the pad in place. With the second knee pad I've chopped off the bottom part because I only need this top piece to cover the back of the hand. So to attach this to the rest of the arm guard I'm going to use this belt, I'm going to glue it to the back of the pad and to the arm guard and that will hold it in place but also remain flexible. I've glued a length of the belt to the back of the knee pad. I'm now going to glue this inside the arm guard. I've taken a small piece of elastic and sewn it into a circle, wide enough that it will go around my hand and then around the knee pad at the bottom to bend that into shape. As you can see, the elastic fits into the groove between these two pieces and it bends the whole knee section in so it will grip nicely to the hand. To match with the rest of the piece, I need to add some foam to the elbow joint. So I've got a piece here left over from when I did the wrist and hand section. I'm simply going to bolt this in place. Glue will not hold this, especially not when you're bending it. Because this has padding inside, as long as I countersink the bolt head sufficiently enough and then add a little bit of padding on top, this will not be uncomfortable when it's worn. I've bolted this piece of foam to the elbow section. Because I've put bolts through and there are pieces of metal here, I'm going to add an extra piece of foam to cover this area to make sure that it doesn't rub on the elbow. So I'm going to add some fake bolts for decoration. So all I've got is these bolts. I'm going to drill holes into the foam, push them into the foam and glue them in place. I've glued bolts into place all along the padding. The only bit I haven't done yet is this section because here it says knee. So I want to cover that up. So I have a little section of foam left from where I cut the channel out. So I'm going to simply stick this on the top and it will cover up the offending knee wording. And here's the completed piece.